today we're talking about self-confidence. Self so to you, what, what would you say self-confidence is? Self-confidence fluctuates and changes all the time, but for, to, to me, it's all about how you perceive yourself um, how you feel about yourself and how you exude yourself to other people. Yeah, it's how you feel about yourself and whether you feel confident when you're around other people. It's like the inner confidence rather than the yeah. outer confidence. Yeah, it's how about you, you, you mentally feel about yourself. We always say that confidence is sexy and it's always one of our tips in our videos. Be confident, but how do you actually achieve that? Yeah, because it's easy enough to say be confident, but sometimes your brain can stop you from being there. Personally, my confidence goes up and down all the time. One day I could be really confident, I love myself, feel like on top of the world, like really happy with everything. And then like a couple of weeks later, you could be feeling like, just like the complete opposite. Mm. I feel like I've always had a good level of confidence, like, but it depends on what confidence means because I feel like I could talk in front of a crowd of random people yeah. or I could go to a party and not know anybody and that's also confidence but then you know my, my mental health can get in the way where either I can look at myself and think oh you're too skinny or I can convince myself that somebody hates me and that again fluctuates from time to time but it just totally depends doesn't it same with hormones as well like our periods can make us feel really yeah. self-conscious especially like in the bedroom when you're with your partner or with somebody new and you're just like oh don't touch me i don't want to be touched and oh like i'm oh i'm ugly and oh yeah we were talking about skin yeah yeah your skin can really affect the way that skin your hair yeah. your weight like there are so many factors when it comes to like being confident about yourself and it'll be different for everyone. Yeah, even your clothes, the way your boobs are formed, uh, the, the constant comparing on social media as well is really changing things for us, like not for, not always for the worst because there are some really good body positivity causes that are coming out yeah. of social media, but at the moment with, with Instagram and every kind of social media we are constantly comparing ourselves yeah, all the time these, like girls with like really fit bodies and they're on holiday all the time you yeah. know like that is lavish money the best kind of bags and new clothes and new makeup and yeah. doing amazing things and that can affect your confidence because you think why am i not like that why am exactly. i why don't i have that life these social media accounts aren't always real you know they're not going to show you the times when they feel shit about themselves or they're constantly judging themselves they're showing the best bits about their life yeah which is unfair especially if they've got you know so enhanced surgery you know yeah. you think my butt isn't as big as hers and you don't know if it's real or not yeah and there's just like filters on everything everything you know i'm guilty of putting filters on my photos as well and i shouldn't because it's not fair people think that you know oh she's got even flawless skin yeah um, it's just but it's hardly ever true yeah i mean actually it's probably never true that anyone is like that flawless that perfect all the time it isn't it isn't true you right. can't be that perfect all the time like we're human there's no one can be that happy. Even the happiest person can't be that happy all the time. It's just put on fucking Facebook and Instagram saying like, look how happy I am. But really, you know, they're just in the, yeah. Uh, I mean, the thing is, we are all guilty of it on yeah. social media. We only post like the good things. Yeah. Even when we just take a selfie. Yeah. We'll take 50 selfies and choose the best one out of that. Yeah. That is the age that we are at the moment and we need to figure out a way to manage that and a way yeah. to stop comparing yourselves to other people because yeah. they're not real. The, the versions that you're seeing of them are the ones that they want to put out and show everyone. So what can we do to build our self-confidence? I feel like change, changing something mm -hmm. is one of the greatest things that we can do. It's so hard when you're unmotivated, but if you don't feel confident, or you're feeling a little bit less confident, something needs to change yeah. and you need to make a positive influence on yourself. Yeah. But that could be anything from anything. just putting on a smile mm -hmm. or going to see a friend and chatting to a friend. Starting a new hobby, going to the gym. I hate that one, going to the gym. <laughs> Changing your diet. And it doesn't have to be changing your diet to be healthy. It could be changing your diet to something, you know, stuff you want to eat more. You could yeah. be feeling shit because you're just eating healthy stuff all the time exactly. and not enjoying it. Like, yeah, you're not eating the stuff that you really want to. Yeah. But like, actually, 
I can eat that like a couple of times a week. Mm, exactly. Making a change as in, you know, getting a new haircut, buying yourself some clothes, saving some money for a holiday, getting a, getting out. Already the fact that you're watching this video says to us that you're making, you're trying to make a change, that yeah. you want to do something about your confidence and put it up there, which is definitely a step in the right direction for you. I think it's all about finding that part of yourself that you're feeling like a little bit uncomfortable with mm. and like why why is it I, I kind of think people are like oh yeah but you shouldn't be telling people to change themselves but I think if you're unhappy with that something then it's a good thing to change it right yeah because it might just be a mental state that you're in and yeah. that needs a change for it for you to put yourself in the right direction yeah, change it could just isn't be getting bad. a therapist yeah like therapy. someone to oh. talk to we love therapy only because it does help you figure out what your mind is focusing on negatively about yourself or about the world that you're in. Mm -hmm. um, and as soon as you know the problem, then you can find a solution to that problem. Yeah, actually I had I had one session with a therapist that was more like a life coach mm. and she was really good because they, if you, get, if you see a life coach, they come up with solutions, really practical solutions mm. for you. And they will be able to see like what's making you unhappy and be like, yeah, but you can do this, this and this and that'll make you so much happier. And it's like, you know that that will make you happier, but having somebody else tell you that and reiterate it makes it like, oh shit, no, that actually might work. I should do that. Yeah, exactly. I think it's all about setting targets for yourself. Like, it doesn't have to be a really big target. I think the, the worst thing you can do is set a target that's unreachable. Mm. Like, you could be like, oh, I want to be the skinniest girl in the world. Oh, yeah. And like, I want to be a millionaire. Skinniest body. Yeah. yeah, I want all the money. Okay, that's not gonna happen. But if your job makes you feel <laughs> shit, trying to find a new job isn't that hard to do. It seems like a daunting task, but could you imagine like just leaving your work one day? If you fucking hate it, if you wake up every morning and you dread the idea of going into work, mm. you need to quit that motherfucking job. You need to quit, <laughs> find a new job. If, you're, if the house that you live in isn't working out for you, try and find somewhere, do anything in your power to make that positive change. Do you have a friend that's constantly putting you down? Maybe you don't need them in your life anymore. Yeah, that, that's a hard decision to make, but it's often are not true. I think that can play a really big part in your confidence, because mm -hmm. quite often it'd be your partner. You know, they're yeah. the ones that aren't making you feel confident. I think quite often you don't understand that if you're in a relationship, you need to be complimenting each other. All you need the time. to you need to reassure each other that you're good and that you're happy and that you attracted love to each, one each other. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a massive thing. We all know from like school and being in drama and putting on a character, often or not with confidence is even if you're terrified of something, pushing yourself to do it and almost like putting that fake confidence on can really help. So say if it's like you're terrified about giving somebody a blowjob, the only way you're gonna get over this fear, this this unconfident issue is by faking that you can give a blowjob, give them the best blowjob, because you, you're only ever gonna learn to be the best by practicing, by yeah. doing. I think that's quite often what we mean in our tips videos when we say be confident. It doesn't mean you suddenly have to change your whole personality. It just means believe in what you're doing, basically. Mm, believe in what you do. Yeah, 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 that's a good way of putting it. You don't have to be the most confident person in the room. Now, when you go to a party, you will get those people that are able to just get up there on the karaoke and fucking have a great time. You don't have to be that person if you don't want to. Yeah. Self-confidence isn't about being that person. Mm. It's about being confident with yourself. Yes. And like, that doesn't mean that you have to be really loud and really really talkative and like be able to do everything. Yeah, it's being okay with the real you, mm -hmm. with okay with being an introvert, okay with being quiet, okay with sitting there and reading books on your own. And as long as you're confident about what you enjoy, then life is just so much sweeter. So do you have any tips for how to be confident within yourself, how to have self-confidence? Tell us your story. Has there been any changes in your life that have made you feel more confident? Any experiences that have happened? Let us know because we love your comments and it also helps other people to comment. Mm -hmm. And if this video has been helpful for you, please like it. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, we love you subscribers. And we'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.